Good morning, it's day 85. When we come back after the workout, we're gonna talk about this. And the irony of this on this. And it's gonna be a little bit of fun. It's gonna be un starting to understand better and it's part of the road to, to, to complete freedom. See ya. Back last night, I was putting papers in an envelope to send to my tax attorney, or tax attorney, he's not an attorney, my, my accountant, to do my taxes, which I don't actually know why I'm paying for that, because I can figure it out on my own, but that's beside the point. I had estimated what I thought we will owe and it's an additional nine thousand dollars on top of the fifteen thousand they have already gotten and I'm putting the papers in the envelope and I go to my drawer and I grab a stamp and that stamp has the word freedom forever on it and then I thought how ironic how ironic is it that the stamp I'm using to mail the papers to report the income I made so they can steal the money that they think is theirs and somehow we still call this freedom. On this, on this channel, on my mission, one of the action items, if you're just getting here, if you've been here, you know this, is to eliminate debt beyond any stretch, anything that's ever been done before. And seek freedom. That's what this is all about. And then I thought, I wonder how much over the last five years or so, have I given them and compare that to the amount of debt that I personally have let me tell you right now I don't have $85,000 worth of debt but that's what I've sent to the federal government in the last five years I'm not even including state local sales tax property tax any other freaking tax that we have somehow made ourselves believe that we can pay and still be free. It is really the biggest mind job I've ever, one of the biggest mind jobs ever. You know, another thing, so I thought, well, what, how much, how, how many laws and rules and regulations are there? At what point, at what point do we go to one too many rules and regulations or laws that take us to the point where are not free I'll post the link to this in um, what I'm about to tell you in the uh, description of the video I'm gonna read this word for word but there are about 100,000 local governments and there are probably about two volumes of law for each so about 200 million pages and about 1,000 million lines, 1,000 million, 1,000 million, listen to that one, 1,000 million, that's a billion, lines of code. And this guy goes on to say, I'm sure I've made some minor omissions, example, case law from courts or U.S. Indian tribes, but the grand total for all U.S. local, state, and federal, the grand total is 2 billion lines of code have we become so docile have we become so weak have we become so apathetic that we don't care anymore do we we think there's absolutely nothing that we can do about this and you know at what point you know how late in the game are we at what point do we go completely digital on everything that we can buy? Do we allow that to happen? I have friends of mine in South Carolina 
that just went through this hurricane and they were unable to buy stuff because they didn't have cash because the internet systems of the stores they were going to to buy the things that they need was down literally was down just yesterday just yesterday my phone and my family's phone sat in SOS mode for a, and I don't know I didn't even know it was there because my kids are the one that showed it to me because I wasn't you I wasn't trying to call anybody but it sat in SOS mode for at least four hours or five hours after I was made aware of it which meant that if I was using my phone to buy stuff unless I was in a place where they had active Wi-Fi I could not buy it and we want to go digital this move to get each and of one of us out of debt is so much bigger than just getting us out of debt but we can't fight if we're weak if we're weak we can't defend ourselves we're not this is not violence there's no violence whatsoever ever promoted on what I do period because violence is initiating harm on other people and you cannot have freedom if you're initiating the harm you can have freedom you can't have freedom if you don't defend yourself when someone else is initiating the harm but you cannot have freedom period if you're initiating on harm harm on others because when you initiate harm on others you're taking their freedom from them and you do not have a right to do that doesn't mean that people aren't going to but guys what a freaking joke it's not even a joke it's, it's beyond sad that I can put a stamp on a on an envelope that says freedom forever while mailing papers away to officially let myself know that I'm gonna to have to give another nine thousand dollars to a group of people that I don't even know what they do with the money People say, well, oh my gosh, we can't have roads. Come on, man. You don't think that we can have roads in the United States for less than the six, five or six or seven or eight trillion dollars that these freaking governments are spending. Well, I will never back a tax. I could almost back a tax if you were to say the only thing you're allowed to spend this money on is roads. I could get close to that. But it's still theft. Because someone out there isn't driving on your roads and they don't want to pay for your freaking roads. But it is one of the most sad situations. I believe, as I said in other, in other videos, with great with, with, with greatness, with great gifts comes great responsibility. We in this country, the United States of America, we're given the greatest gift maybe of all time and it was the gift to be free but to be free we have to work together in communities that's not communism it's not republicanism it's not any of that crap but we have to work together to make the lives for each and every one is better and to make this world a better place for every generation coming after us but if we don't stand up and if we don't stand up soon we are walking into potentially the most tyrannical error in human history and it may be impossible if not impossible extremely difficult to ever get out of see ya